A lot of moviegoers certainly felt the need for speed this weekend as a long-awaited sequel of Top Gun smash records at the box office. Let's take a look by the numbers. It's been 36 years since Top Gun first hit the silver screen, taking movie fans into the danger zone. And after a delay of two years due to the pandemic, the sequel Top Gun Maverick finally arrived this Memorial Day weekend, debuting on more than 25,000 screens worldwide. That's Paramount's widest release ever. And it rocketed to an estimated 160 60 and a half million dollar four day opening this weekend in the U.S. That makes it the best Memorial Day weekend opening of all time, surpassing the previous record of 153 million dollars domestically for the 2007 opening of Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Top Gun brought in another 139 and a half million overseas, despite not opening in China or Russia. And it was a hit with critics, too, scoring a 96 percent on Rotten Tomatoes. The film, of course, stars 59 year old Tom Cruise or his role as the cocky Navy pilot Pete Mitchell, codenamed Maverick, now training a group of young fighter pilots. It was the first time a movie star and cruise debuted with more than $65 million in its opening weekend. Goosing Top Gun's numbers, Paramount says that 55% of this weekend's moviegoers were over the age of 35, marking a big return to the theaters for older viewers who, for the most part, have hesitated to return during the pandemic, with many opting for more viewing at home. And that could could be a good sign for the recovery of summer movie going as the industry seeks to return to normal after two very long years. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.